Hey, what's up guys? It's Topsy Cow. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Hey, what's up guys? It's Topsy Cow, and today we're here with a little bit of survival. Now, I have had a bit of a derp with the recording software for what I've just done. All I really did was took a stone axe around, got a 30, 34 wood, threw out two of it, laid down a little bit over here, had two arcacia from the starter chest, got all of this from the starter chest, what I have right now, but other than the 18 dirt, I have gotten from the starter chest and the wood. So, now that we're a little caught up, let's get back to it. I was just making a mine right over here, and I realized, wait, I did some derping to my uh, recording software. So, let's go ahead and grab a little bit more wood, because actually night, I'm pretty sure, is falling. I'm not sure, because, you know, I'm kind of on my office computer right now, so I can't have the render distance high enough to actually see. Ah, uh, there it is. So, yeah, it's, it's, we got a little bit. I need a, some, some more wood before nighttime falls, because my house is looking kind of sad right now. And actually, food would not be frowned upon at this point, because... What's up? Yo, why are you running? Yo, why are you running? Hey, you shouldn't run. Okay, you, you gonna run? You gonna run? You can't run. Urgh. I don't know why, I just really love killing sheep in this game. I've never loved sheep, ever. Never liked them. Never loved them. Never even had an acquaintance with them. They're just terrible beings that should die. And I shall look forward to seeing that happen. Oh, God. Oh, okay. I have no clue why I just jump scared off of that. Like, I legit jumped in my chair. Okay, I'm gonna die. Or I better not, at least. Can I not? Okay, I thought I picked that up. Okay, but that's a glitch and it keeps showing back up. Let it happen. I'll be back every second it comes back. I don't know really exactly when it would come back. But, you know, that would be a glitch that I would be okay with utilizing for the simple fact that I don't like cutting down trees. It is tedious and I, I frown upon it. I don't like it. But, you know, cutting wood's actually kind of... I don't know. I like it. It's... Like, without it, it would just feel like it's too easy, so... I guess it's one of those things that you really need, otherwise it's not Minecraft. And, it, yeah, if, if it wasn't there, it'd just be weird. Alright, so I want to get some walls up or anything so that's what I'm working on right now and of course I always have the stupid ability to screw myself by making a really detailed wooden house I, I don't start out dirt or cobblestone and I really don't like going underground I hate going underground I just think it's it's very dumb so um, yeah we're gonna go for finishing this house right here it's gonna be the mine shed, but for now it's gonna be the house uh, until we have a actual house. We're gonna have uh, furnaces basically, and just the essentials, what we'll be using for smelting minerals, all that fun stuff. I won't be using it to sleep in because I won't be sleeping, I will be utilizing the time. And uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know, I, I don't really sleep much in this game unless I have to. I, I don't even do it much whenever it starts, the weather starts to go bad, because if you guys didn't know, whenever you don't sleep in this game, the weather gets bad and it starts to rain and all this, all this fun jazz, so if you sleep, it will usually get rid of that, and, or it will get rid of it if you sleep as it's doing it, and it will keep it from doing it for a little bit, but it'll come back at some point if you don't sleep again. So, yeah, I, I guess sleep keeps away the weather, but I'll just tag the title download, downfall, I must said download. So, yeah, I, I don't really care too much for toggling downfall, I mean, by do, I don't care much, meaning I don't think it's cheating, I just think they shouldn't, it shouldn't rain, I don't like rain at all, but then again, it's one of those things that it wouldn't be Minecraft without it, so I can't really argue with it. And also guys, uh, if any of you actually watched my uh, last series where I was survival, uh, doing survival, it was a hardcore survival, and the reason we are not actually doing that anymore is because I corrupted the uh, save file for the world, 
So that's why that all of a sudden ended and I never really brought it back. So yeah, we're gonna bring it back this time, but instead of hardcore, we're gonna just do regular survival because I have a feeling that the reason that I was, I didn't, I didn't find it difficult or challenging at all, the actual hardcore aspects of it, because I found it too easy. Like, I, I didn't get hurt by anything much. I never really had to fight anything. But that was for the simple fact that I never went outside, or I, I never got out of the mines. Whenever I was doing anything, I was either in the mines, mining my tree farm right outside my house, or building my house and farm. So I, I found it kind of boring, and I bet that a lot of you did too. So I'm okay with the fact that that ended, but this time I'm going to restart it, or re refurbish it, and not make it hardcore because, I don't know, I was too cautious. And I guess whenever, what I'm trying to say is whenever I, uh, whenever I know that there's a chance that I can't come back after dying, I try my hardest to hermit and not die. So I, I found that really boring, and I bet a lot of you did too, so I'm going to keep from doing that by not making it where I die for good. And I'm going to get these started up, throw some, some mutton on the barbie. <laughs> that makes no sense, it's not even close to the quote, but oh uh, well. I actually need coal. I don't know why, but I really love coal, and then I start to take it for granted after, you know, I already got a lot of it. But, at, in this case, I, I need it. And I want it. So yeah, I'm gonna mine down until probably this wooden pickaxe breaks, or I find something, and I'll get right back to you guys, so I will see you then. Alright guys, so I'm back, and I've broken my, uh, here, I'll make sure that no mobs spawn in here. I don't want to have to deal with that. So yeah, my pickaxe is broken, and uh, it's still nighttime. It actually was only <laughs> like a few, I don't know, like 30 seconds that I mined on before it broke. Uh, so I didn't really get much, but I got 44 cobblestone. That's, that's decent. Uh, I'm going to try to, here, wait, let me actually, before I derp, make sure, right, it's on normal, we're good. Make sure that I actually had mobs to be scared of. So yeah, I'm going to uh, go ahead and get some more wood so we can make charcoal because I didn't happen to find any coal. Nothing but stone. So I don't care what kind of wood, I just need wood at this point. So once I get all of this, I will go ahead and make some charcoal. And then we can get to work on actually smelting down some uh, food, or smelting, cooking some food. Uh, sounds a little better and we can get our hunger up and actually go outside without being scared because we only have half our hunger. Um, we can also get to working on making tools because we uh, have enough, uh, okay see now this is whenever this comes in handy right here. Get home, start dying, bam. And I was only at two hearts. That goes down to half health I'm pretty sure because we're on normal. Hard, I think you die from it. You die from starvation. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and sleep this night away just for the simple fact that I'm not in good standings right now. I just got food, so I, I don't have that great of resources to go running out. So I think right now the best idea is to go ahead and sleep that away and then throw some stuff in here to make some charcoal. Uh, I need this to go one so that I can we'll throw that in there. Get this one, we can go and throw that in there and that'll get us about two or three more charcoal off of that one. And uh, we'll do the same for this right here because that won't last for long, that one wooden plank. Alright, so now to go and farm some more trees. I should have grabbed some saplings of the oaks because that's all I use for building. I used to like uh, the look of this birch, but I don't really please it. I'm not pleased with the look of the... I don't like the dots. I mean, I know that's crazy for me because, I mean, that's the most Holstein cow looking wood right there that you can get. But, I don't know, I just don't... I don't like the look of it. That right there is birch, right? No, that is oak. Oh, that's why, because the one I was looking at was birch. Uh, this one right... 
that's birch leaves, that's oak leaves. So birch is a little darker. Uh, yeah, it's a little darker. We'll go for this one right here. Get that. Oh, I love when I start recording. It always has a little bit of a lag spike. I mean, I lag no matter what, but it has a little bit more of a lag spike. And guys, if I know this probably is more annoying for you guys to watch me lag than it is to me actually play the game lagging. So I am sorry about that, and it is honestly not going to be for a long time. I do have a actual computer coming back in, so or not right now, but I will have one coming in soon, hopefully. So within the next month or two, it should be in here. And uh, we'll just have to put up with uh, a little bit of lag for now. I mean, it's not bad lag. I get uh, 16 to 20 FPS, and that's pretty bad, but that's uh, actually on a bad day. Right now it's kind of, I don't know what it is. Some things I do to it just make it run faster sometimes. So usually I get 20, or, or right now I'm getting 20, 15 to 20 FPS off of it, whenever usually I could be getting... 60 to actually for my hardcore series I was getting a hundred or 80 actually I got a hundred without recording whenever I would record I would actually get a hundred and something FPS so I guess it just depends on what I'm doing how my computer is reacting sometimes it huffs and puffs whenever I'm playing sometimes it really doesn't care so I guess it just depends and I would love to record whenever only whenever it decides to be good but that's not really all the time, so if I did that, I would never record. And, uh, I actually got my first, um, my first s sponsorship, I guess you can call it. Uh, partnership, yeah, that's a better way of putting it. I got my first partnership, so I'm actually getting paid now to do this, and uh, that is only because of all you guys, all 52 of you. It's, I know it's not a big number, but in my eyes, that is such a big number and I am so pl proud that I actually got to where I can actually get paid. Now I'm not going to get paid a lot for a while because you know I actually have to get places and have have it where I get views. So this probably won't happen until I start actually putting out good quality of games. That means no lag and none of that jazz was so of course we're gonna have to have a little while before I'm actually making something off of this but for now I don't really care about making something off of this because like I, whenever I started this I didn't do it so that I could make money like I, I money is this side that I it's pretty awesome like it's it's a, it's a bonus but I, I want to at some point in my life make a living off of YouTube and hopefully I get to that point but for now it's just to enjoy Minecraft and any other game I play and record it and have it where other people can enjoy it too now it's not so much as they enjoy it whenever I'm lagging but we all we all <laughs> just went through this it's not always gonna lag and hopefully soon it'll stop so I just want to thank you all for being there and helping me get towards partnership which you should see at the beginning of this video is freedom and uh yeah it's they're they're pretty nice uh if you want to go over and check out the owner of freedoms uh the freedom network his name is george uh you can go over to the george show that's his uh, youtube and check him out and try to get yourself a partnership with freedom.tm if you put that in your browser it'll take you straight to the website and you can work on getting yourself a partnership and uh, there's a lot of partnerships out there or that you can or a lot of networks that you can partner with out there and I guess the only thing you could look for with one of those one of those is I guess make sure they're not lock-ins if you can lock like leave it at any point that's probably the best thing you can do as a small channel because of course you think okay yeah I can make money off this of course I'm gonna join it right away and you don't really think about much of the stuff that uh, like they offer and how good it is for you as a pl person because uh, I'm not gonna say all networks are like this but they gotta make money and they're not always that real with you like there's fine print instead of okay we're just gonna tell you everything that will happen 
yeah, there's always sometimes that there, uh, or not always, there's sometimes that there will be that fine print that they don't tell you about. So if it says uh, no lock-in or, or lock-in, meaning you cannot leave until they accept that you can leave, you're locked into a uh, actual contract, you would have to delete your account to their prefer get out of it and make a new one. Now, this only applies if you were under 18, and that only depends on if they're, if you both are not in the US, which I am in the US, if they don't uh, station in the US and you don't, then that wouldn't apply so much, but uh, yeah, if you station in the US, then they'd have to abide by them rules. If you don't, but they do, then they would still have to abide by those rules. What the, the hell? Okay guys, uh, I'm getting shot by an invisible skelly. I don't see him. Oh, this is the crap to the bull. No, I'm out, peace. Okay, that was uh, not okay. There's a spider right there. I don't like spooders. Uh, I really, really dislike the choice of coming in here. Is this the way out? Please tell me it is. I didn't find one iron like this whole way through here. And I know that that was the way out right over there. I'm gonna try to find a little bit of iron before I have to go out. But that scary tin was no, no bueno. Very invisible. Alright, well yeah, I'm not gonna find any iron in here, but it was worth a try in half my health. Uh, yeah. So back to what we were talking about. Whenever you're uh, looking for a good network, yeah, you just gotta make sure you don't get locked into something and the whole 18 and being in the state of the state of whatever in the USA, it will that that makes it where you can't get locked in if you're under 18. So that's that's always a fun loop if you uh, loophole if you don't want to. So yeah, it, it, like I said, not all of them are like that, but there's a few that will have the fine print. You don't read it, and you get screwed. Fight over. And uh, yeah, it's it's kind of crap, but then again, you, what are you gonna do? You can't really stop it from happening. I don't really want to eat because I have a mutton and it can heal a lot more than one and a half uh, conches. So I'm going to let that go down a little more before I eat. But uh, yeah, yeah, and whenever going over what network to join, if you're as small as the channel is mine, I don't think you really should ponder. Like if you find a network that you can join and it pays, and it doesn't lock in, go for it. Because if it's not locking and you wanna leave it, of course you can't just leave it. It'll take like 30 days or so for them to actually let you go out. And that's not just because they wanna be douchebags and say, okay, yeah, you can go out, but in 30 days. No, it's, they're letting you have time to think about it before you leave. And that's actually pretty nice of them because of course you think, okay, well, I don't really like this right here, I'm gonna leave to go for this one. And then halfway through that period, you find out that the other one was a lock-in, or not enough, or as much money, doesn't give as much money, or doesn't have enough benefits, I don't know. It's something you find out in the like future after deciding to leave. You can cancel that and still stay in there. And I just find that a really nice kind of way of, uh, doing things, I don't know, I think it's nice that they would actually have leave, let you have that chance of actually coming back after saying, hey, I want to leave, and I don't know, I think that's pretty cool, it might just be me, but I'm not sure, I'm gonna actually let these trees grow while I go do some other stuff, and I'm gonna end this uh, one off here and probably farm these trees a little off camera, maybe get some wood to start working on the actual house and not have to sleep in my mining shed. So I'll see you guys in the next video, don't forget to like and comment, and always uh, go ahead and try to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, it's free, you don't have to pay. So I'll see you guys in the next video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and peace!